But first this evening, it's a system first responders rely on, but it doesn't work in parts of Bernalillo County. It's a problem that affected those working at the Doghead Fire, and that's not all that's wrong with the system. Fixing it won't be cheap. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live near Carlisle and Gibson with the story. Alex? Well, Jessica Dean, here in Burton Park, this playground isn't too far away from this, one of the radio towers that allows police officers and firefighters to properly communicate. But the system they're using is quickly going out of date. Engine 33 three, fire control. It's a problem and it really puts people at risk. Engine 33 three, rescue two, three are going to be clearing soon. It's vital. It's absolutely a, a priority. The radio is a police officer or firefighter's lifeline, their best way of communicating with dispatch. Battalion 7 fire control will be en route to atrium for briefing. It's a system that's shared by the city and county, but in parts of Bernalillo County, that system goes dark. Our deputies, our firefighters, our EMS personnel cannot receive or send radio messages from Chilili. It's been a long-standing problem. And during the Doghead Fire evacuations, a potentially deadly problem. In the Doghead Fire, thankfully, no one lost their life because of it. But that's not the only issue. The system being used thank you. is no longer supported by its manufacturer, meaning making repairs is more and more difficult. We've had to, you know, fly in parts from Timbuktu to make sure that our system stays engaged and intact. The city says getting a new radio communication system isn't cheap either. They're hearing a range in prices from 20 to 30 million dollars. That price tag means they'll likely need federal help. Right now, there's just not a pocket deep enough locally to fill that that need. And you look under every rock when you're looking for things like this. A vital fix for public safety. We want to make sure that we're not caught, you know, when everything's falling apart without a good replacement plan and a transition period to make sure that it's operating the same way. Now the timeline on getting a replacement system is definitely months, not weeks. The city plans on putting out a request for proposals in the early fall. Back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. The cost of that replacement system will be split by the city and county.